wondered why birds fly in a V shape. Well, apparently it all has to do with wind. Candace Monticelli joining us with another experiment to explain more. Hey, Candace. Hey, good morning. So much in the world revolves around the weather, even for us, depending on what clothes we wear for the day, what activity we do for the day, and even why birds fly in a V shape. So we're going to explain all of that with today's experiment. Here's a list of what you need to get started. First, construction paper, markers, scissors, and then a fan. So real easy. You want to take whatever color uh, construction paper you want, use your scissors, and just cut a flat strip off of the piece of paper. Then you want to go ahead, take your marker, and draw little birds on your piece of paper as well. I didn't get uh, too fancy with my drawings there, but it still works. Take your fan here. A small one will do just fine. Again, if you're doing this with the kids, make sure there's some adult supervision. No one sticks their finger inside the fan. But all you want to do is turn on the fan. And now we're going to play around with the wind resistance. So I'm going to use this first piece of paper here. If you're just trying to hold this against the fan, it has a hard time trying to fight against that wind. But when you fold the piece of paper in half, just fold it in a V shape. Now, instead of fighting it like this piece of paper, very easily flies through when it's folded in half and flying in a V shape. And that's exactly why birds fly in a V. So they're working against and reducing their wind resistance. It's all about wind resistance. And that's the force uh, that an object needs to overcome from the wind either hitting it directly or working over it or a combination of both. But there's something called drag, and that's the force working in the opposite direction of the object. It's what's going to try to keep the object, object from pushing through the wind. And the wider and greater surface area you have in, of, of an object that's the higher amount of drag you have. So the bigger something is, it's going to take more force to work through that wind, more, uh, more force to overcome, a more powerful wind resistance here. So flying in that V gives those birds that advantage. And they do this for two reasons. Scientists came to believe the first reason is to conserve energy, and then the second reason is to reduce that wind resistance. So birds actually fly a little bit higher than the bird in front of them, forming that V shape to give them an easy time to uh, reduce that wind resistance and a much easier time to fly. So very cool there. If you try this at home, send me your pictures on Facebook. Super easy one for the kiddos uh, to learn a little bit today at home. There's a full list of instructions on fox17online.com.